Hot Mixology with Thanksgiving cocktails. And I have something special for you as I do every week on Hot Mixology. Now, you've seen Eastside Distillery on Hot Mixology before with all the great products they have. But he really takes a passion and pride in distilling his products. And now, the owner just sent me out from Eastside Distillery in Portland, Oregon, his holiday liqueurs. And it's a cool little package here that, uh, a pack of three you can pick up for the holidays there. Hotmixology.com, check it out. Big Hit great gift, too. Makes an awesome great gift. gift. <laughs> Is that a hint? Maybe I'll give you yeah, one for the holidays. Christmas around the corner. <laughs> now, um, the uh, holiday liqueurs that East Side Distillery has, as I said, hotmixology.com, hit the featured brands page and get them into your home, get them into your bar for the holidays because they're so mixable and so great. From the spice liqueur to the peppermint bark liqueur to the eggnog liqueur, I mean, they're just very mixable. And uh, East Side Distillery, again, does it right. Get these holiday liqueurs into your home, into your bar because you can really utilize them in cocktails. Now, as we're talking about that, and I just sipped on this, it's terrific. What, what do we do here? So this cocktail here is called the Centennial Thanksgiving. And right now on the rim here, we have our Rocks Effects, and this is going to be the Cranberry Sugar. The Rocks Cocktail Effects, as we said, we've been using those a lot. The sugars, the salts, um, they're just great for rimming. They also have some infusions, as I said, coming up on Hot Mixology. But as we're talking about the sugars and salts, great for rimming. Which one did you use again? Oh, this is the Cranberry Sugar. Perfect cranberry for the holidays. Sugar. Really sweet, really nice. Nice touch to the cocktail. What else did you do? Uh, so it's a cranberry sugar, fresh squeezed lime juice, a homemade cinnamon syrup, which is a simple syrup, but I just saute it with cinnamon sticks for about 20 minutes. Uh, and then we also use the uh, east side distilling, we use their, uh, their holiday liqueur, spice liqueur, and then we use the gubba gold, the vanilla. And the gubba rum is to talk about, the premium rum. Uh, just uh, the gold is the vanilla, uh, the vanilla flavors, the uh, silver is the coconut flavors, and gubba rum does it right. Two flavors of that kind of Caribbean rum, right? It's, it's, it's tasty, it's delicious, but it's a great cocktail. It certainly does. Now, the Centennial Thanksgiving cocktail, as you called it, using the East Side liqueurs, you use the holiday spice liqueur. What flavors did you get in that? We need to get your traditional, like almost like baking spices, like a little bit of anise, cloves, cinnamon, all spice, but it's very subtle, it's not very overbearing, it will not overkill your cocktail. And you did it right here. It's the Centennial Holiday, or the Centennial Thanksgiving Cocktail, as you called it, utilizing the Eastside Distillery, the Holiday Liqueurs, also the Gubba Rum, the uh, Gubba Gold Rum, and of course, topping it off and garnishing it with the Rocks Cocktail Effects. What a great cocktail here. It's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. It's Hot Mixology, and we're going to be right back. Salute.